on black lights, is there any difference between incandescent, fluorescent, and LED? Is there a difference between black lights and black lights? The answer to that question is, oh yes, there is. Hey, I'm Mike with B2 Lighting Effects, and yes, there is a huge difference on black lights. You got some really good ones, most of them are really good actually, and then you got the really bad black lights. This would be a great example of one of the worst, no, this is the worst black light that you can get. It's a little bulb. This one happens to be made by General Electric. Nothing against General Electric. There's a lot of companies that make this, and here it is. It's a very simple incandescent light bulb that you screw into your lamp, and you think you're going to get a black light effect out of it. No! All you're going to get is some bluish color coming out of it. The reason being, you got about 0.01% of UV coming out of this bulb. So, as far as the worst black light, there it is. Now, one of the better black lights you can get for your parties would be this one right here. It's a very simple fluorescent black light. They've been around like forever. This particular unit comes with the fixture and the bulb and the cord and the on off switch and all that kind of stuff. They also have these in the bigger one. This is the four foot black light, which is 48 inches. The actual unit is 50 inches, but they call it a four foot black light. Great for parties because it's very versatile. You just plug it in and have a great time. Now, if you're looking for a black light for your bedroom, this would be it right here. It's a very small, compact fluorescent bulb with the regular screw and base for your lamp. Works very well if you just want to light up like a small 10 foot by 10 foot bedroom for your teenager or your kid or maybe for yourself. I don't know. It's a great little light. Talking about the incandescent light bulbs that are totally worthless. Don't spend your money on those incandescent bulbs that you screw into the lights. I talked about the fluorescent bulbs that are UV active. Excellent for your parties. Then we have the LED versions. Yes, a lot of people ask me this question. Are LED black lights worthwhile at all? They are very, very good. This one happens to be the LED shadow from Chauvet Lighting. This one happens to be the UV LED bar 16 from American DJ. The American DJ unit I actually like quite a bit, but it's pretty, pretty expensive. Covers a wide area, but very narrow. Very narrow, very wide area. The Chauvet covers a little bit less area, but it's about half the price of that one there. Now, if you're going to be traveling and staying in a motel, you might want to get one of these little babies. This is a very small, compact, fluorescent tube black light. It's battery operated, and we've all heard nightmares about stains on the sheets and motels and the pillows. Oh, hate to even think about it. Well, this little thing is going to find out if there's any stains on those sheets and those pillowcases. Sells for about $12 to $15, and it's worth it to see if you're sleeping on clean sheets. Now, if you're going to have a really big party, here's the black light you want to go with. It's a mercury vapor 400 watt UV black light, and this is actually a huge ball. It's got what's called a mogul base. No, this bulb will not screw into a regular light socket thing. The, the base is like that, something like that. Anyway, it's actually two bulbs. One bulb inside the other bulb. The other bulb is what's coated with the UV coating. Tremendous black light for doing huge areas. This is what they use for concerts and for big bowling centers and huge nightclubs, that kind of thing. Big parties go for the mercury vapor light. Now, what glows under a black light? I'm glad you asked that question. All kinds of stuff glows under a black light. As a matter of fact, I went to the store, I bought a whole bunch of stuff just to show you what glows under a black light, and we'll go in the showroom and I'll show it to you. I had fun shopping for a lot of this stuff, and let me show you what I got. First of all, we got some Mr. Clean. So you can clean your house and make it glow at the same time. We got fabric whitener. That works great for under a black light. It actually glows. Canada Dry, well actually any brand, a tonic water will glow. Bananas. No, the banana itself doesn't glow, but you see these little specks on here? Those actually glow under a black light. Pieces of white paper glow under a black light. And even Irish Spring soap. So let me show this to you under the black light. First of all, let's turn off this light and we'll turn our black light on. There we go. First of all, any kind of paper that most paper has uh, either cotton in it or if you'll notice in the store, they'll have a brightness on the paper. How do they make it bright? They put in a fluorescent type uh, chemical in there and that'll glow under a black light. Yes, believe it or not, tonic water glows in a black light. I'm going to show you something that you can do with that. Rit dye. All right, this is that stuff that whitens clothes. I'm going to get this all over this. <laughs> this stuff. If I can get this open, whoa! All right, you can see that glowing all over the place. It actually glows. Mr. Clean, not a lot of glow, but yes, Mr. Clean glows. I didn't know he glowed. The banana, I'm not sure if you can see this or not. Let me take a look here. You can see, well, here, I know. There, see, it glows. No, I'm kidding. 
Anyway, the specs on the banana, I can't, I don't have enough specs on this banana. Get rid of the bananas. They're not going good. Irish Spring. This is, I could not believe this. Look at this. Irish Spring glows. So I guess if you want to glow, use Irish Spring. Is that too much or what? Another thing that glows is money. That's today's new money. Let me get a $20 bill out here if I have one. There we go. Now, you're going to have to zoom in on this one. On this little line here. Can you see that? It actually glows. That little line that they put in the $20 bill. Anyway, you might not be able to see that real good on camera, but that glows pretty good under a black light. Another stuff that glows under a black light, white cotton glows like crazy under a black light. Take a look at this. This is amazing. So if you're going to have a party, have your guests wear white cotton because they're going to glow like crazy. If they're going to have costumes or something like, like that on, have them spray on the fluorescent paints, or if they have the white cotton, have them wear that. By the way, talking back about what I was talking at the motel with that other little black light to see stains, Black light, if you go to a party wearing a white cotton shirt, any stains that are on there are going to show up even after you washed it. So be, you might want to check out your shirt under a black light before you go to the party. And another thing that glows under a black light are ice cubes when they're made with tonic water. So all I did was take some tonic water and put it in an ice cube, made ice cubes out of it. And these aren't quite frozen yet, but we'll get them out of here. <laughs> I'm spilling them all over the place. You know what? I was going to put these ice cubes in this glass, <laughs> pour some tonic water, and drink some uh, glowing ice. Well, let me show you what it looks like with the light off back with the black light. Let me turn this off. Okay. Can you see this here? It's glowing. <laughs> I'm making a mess, too. So pour yourself a glowing drink for your next party. Mmm. Have a great time. Hey, thanks for visiting.